Within the first month of taking Zoloft, I noticed a few different side effects. Within three weeks or so, I noticed I felt nauseous and it happened abruptly as I was eating my salad and I just thought, I can't finish this. And that nauseousness just went away rather quickly. I noticed it only a few times within that first month, maybe month and a half. And the rest of the side effects that I'm about to talk about also are not an issue today. So with the nauseousness, I think that also led to a little bit of weight loss because I have lost about three to five pounds and initially that stayed off. And since I've increased my Zoloft and since I've gotten used to it, I think I've just maintained the weight I was right before I started taking Zoloft. So at first I lost a little bit of weight, but I think it might've been due to just feeling sick at the thought of like eating. I was very uh, sensitive to smells when I felt nauseous, so I wonder if that's what attributed to the weight loss. And again, it was only just a couple pounds, so there's that. I am currently also at 200 milligrams, and I haven't made an updated video on that yet, but I've noticed with each dosage change, I have felt a little bit more tired each time I've had an increase, or I've had a migraine each time I've had an increase, and that's been consistent. I started at 50, went to 100, then 150, and now I'm at 200, and feeling kind of just fatigued, just tired, worn out. Again, it doesn't last for very long. It honestly only lasts for about a day or two. Feeling tired and also having a migraine, a killer migraine, but it also might have been due, my migraine might have been due to having a ring light with Zoom classes. So that could be an attributing factor as well. But I know a lot of people have mentioned or talked about possibly having like sexual dysfunction or loss of a sex drive and I haven't noticed that. There are other side effects that other people have mentioned and I'll put some helpful resources down below so you guys can check that out. But again, the main things that I've noticed each time I've had an increase of my Zoloft medication, it's just been either dizziness, maybe a little bit of nauseous. And that really happened with the first dose when I started at 50. It hasn't really happened since. I've been increasing, increasing, but I definitely have had like a migraine here and there and also felt a little tired. The last video that I updated you guys on my Zoloft is linked in the cards. So definitely check that out because I talk about some things there that I don't talk about in any of the other videos. And I have a full playlist of these videos on my channel. So if you're considering taking Zoloft or maybe you already have the medication at home and maybe you're just scared to take it, Check out these other videos that I've made because I think it just helps to know that you're not going through this alone. There are people in the comment section that have also made very helpful and reassuring comments. And it's just nice to feel that sense of community. So if you're into that, definitely subscribe. I'm going to keep talking about this because I and <laughs> I strongly believe that mental health and medication is something that is just stigmatized still. I know just seeing a therapist is finally starting to become more accepted, but I think we need to push a little bit further with medication and mental health because there's nothing wrong about needing to take a medication for your mental health. So again, those videos are going to be linked down below and also in the cards, and don't forget to subscribe, but I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, bye!